hello everybody thanks again for uh, all you folks who subscribed uh, from watching my two videos about the lightweight trailers thought I'd do something a little bit about prime tanker currently uh, pumping off some soybean oil 48,000 pounds of it to a bakery here in Cicero Illinois this is the uh, cabinet on the back of the trailer and it's where everything happens when you're delivering a product just to go over what's happening here there are two ports this is for if uh, place we're delivering has their own pump they'll hook up here there's two butterfly valves so in this case both are open the T valve uh, the T um, junction allows it to go through the pump and down into the lower port through a three inch hose and into the building and into their tank here at this bakery that's about it it's pretty simple it's all run by hydraulics I know I talked about that when I did the uh, videos of my truck, there's the puppy pad for any leaks. It's better to catch a little bit of a leak and before it reaches the ground, and then you have to deal with uh, an additional mess and contacting Prime and all that good stuff. So that's why I have the puppy pads I talked about in my uh, truck tour video. And again, they are cheaper than purchasing the uh, products built uh, cloth that you can get from Prime. I wanted to talk quickly about tools. These are straps. These will be given to you. You'll get three straps. Three because you got to close this one. One around there. And then there's one on the building. You're going to need a minimum of three. There are plastic versions that you can use as well. I prefer the actual straps, but you have that option as well. Prime will give you these, but you do have to pay for them. Everything if I say Prime gives it to you, you're going to have to pay for it anyway. Braided cable seals. The company that uh, ships will put these on. Here from two to six of them, they go right here. And make sure that the trailer is completely closed up so that when it gets here, they got numbers on it, the company knows. Nobody messes with the product in route and they're getting good soybean oil. So you need to cut those off. Here's some cobalt wire cutters. I really like these, these I got at Home Depot. You're gonna use them almost every time you get somewhere. You might as well get a good set instead of getting the cheap set. Three quarter inch drive uh, socket set with a deep well three quarter inch uh, socket. That's for the pump itself. Again, this is the pump. And these nuts, you either have to make sure they're tight or you'll have to take them off if there's a problem and there is a leak. So this is a key piece as well. This is something that Prime will provide you with. Again, you have to pay for it. It's called the Big Wrench. The two nuts above and below the pump. You make sure those are tight. They have seals inside of them as well. Those can be, can be a uh, leak. So that's what the Big Wrench is for. Nice set of channel locks. Primarily used for the uh, caps in the hose. See, this cap has a ring on the end, easy to pull out. This one does not. When they clean the tank and when they clean the hoses, they use hot water. As it cools, it creates suction. It sucks the cap in. You need some way to pull it out. And if there's no ring, you can grab onto it with your channel locks and pull it out. I have a lot of other tools in there don't use most of them one that I do use a lot this is the Harbor Freight you'll probably see it with a coupon for it for free LED light um, you need to check and make sure that the pump is operating in the correct direction you do that by looking behind it it's obviously dark in there it's a good way to do so also when it's dark you need to go up top and look into the tank and see how much is left so that's a good way to do this. It. I said they turn the lights on here for me. Since I'm talking about light, I have a little sledge, a sledge in here. A um, number of other tools. None of them are that big of a deal. This is probably the next major one. It's a propane benzomatic torch. All of our product that we ship between 80 and about 150 degrees. And if it gets cold, this particular piece is not heated. We do have a heater that heats the uh, the trailer and keeps the product warm, but if you're stuck at a truck stop and it's a minus 10 and snowing and they shut down the interstate, 
once that product hits this pipe, this port here at the end, all of a sudden that product's going to set up very quickly and a little propane torch is a good way to, to melt the product and uh, be able to pump it off very quickly. Quick note on my gloves. These are the $1.87 cheapo Walmart specials. I get a new pair about every two weeks. You can see they're getting a little grungy, about time to replace them. The way I figure it is, if I spend $50 on the average of $2 every two weeks, it's gonna be $50 a year on gloves. It's better than uh, buying mechanics gloves at the rate of $20 per pair of gloves once a month over the course of a year because mechanics gloves are going to get just as dirty as the $2 gloves and eventually you're going to want to get rid of them because they get nasty. You're going to get diesel on them, you're going to get grease on them, you're going to get palm oil, soybean oil, all the stuff that we haul which is a lot of food grade oils, canola oil, palm oil, soybean oil. Um, you might get chocolate on them, we haul chocolate. You might get wine on them, we haul wine. And why not throw away a cheap $2 pair of gloves instead of throwing away some nice mechanics gloves. Um, you also have bungee cords for a number of things. One is to hold this open. I'm on a little bit of a angle here. And that one just kind of wants to flop shut. So kind of nice to have some bungee cords for various things. And then these are seals. I mentioned the braided cable seals. We have to seal these trailers up when we're done. This is about the only thing that Prime will provide for free. Any questions, let me know. Hope you enjoyed the video. Just a little bit about Prime Tanker, what we haul, how it works when we deliver, and some of the tools you might need to purchase. Like I said, a lot of them you should have already unless you don't own a whole lot of tools. Hope you enjoy the video.